Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding In this video I want to discuss one numerical question on the pipeline to compute the efficiency Let me read out the question Three instructions are executing means instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 are executing using four stage pipeline like stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 is there Now if you see that stage one is taking one nanosecond, stage two is taking two nanoseconds, stage three and stage four is taking one nanosecond each. Then they are asking us to compute the efficiency. Now how can I calculate the efficiency? Efficiency is equal to total number of cycles are used by total number of cycles means number of cycles utilized by total number of cycles. to know that one i need to construct the space time analysis diagram am i right space or stage okay it is a stage time analysis diagram because these are the stages are there in the y axis and time will be there in the x axis now if you see that the difference between previous questions and these questions is here the each stage is taking different times nanoseconds means all stages are not taking equal number of time okay now if you see that stage 1 instruction 1 will be executed in 1 nanosecond let me write it as 1 now once it is executed the stage 1 it will come to the stage 2 and it will run for not stage 2 it will run for 2 nanoseconds are able to understand it or not instruction 1 is taking 2 nanoseconds in stage 2 and then it comes to stage 3 and execute it only for 1 nanoseconds then it will come to stage 5 and execute in 1 nanosecond so this is what so 5 nanoseconds are taken by the instruction 1 now what will happen for the instruction 2 we will see now once the instruction 1 when for stage 2 stage 1 is free then instruction 2 can utilize it now when it can execute the instruction it can go to the stage 2 when the stage 2 is free however if you see the third nanosecond stage 2 is still i busy with the instruction 1 so when it is free here it is free so instruction 2 will be executed here and this one is a stall cycle because still the instruction 2 is there in the stage 1 however it has finished in 1 nanosecond and this is still unutilized okay now if you see that instruction 2 will take 2 nanoseconds in the stage 2 then it will come to this one and this is idle and then it will come to here are you able to understand it or not now if you see that when the instruction 3 will come into stage 1 it will come here and then it will come here and it will perform for 2 nanoseconds and then it will come to stage 3 and then it will come to stage 4 are you able to understand it or not okay so now if you see that these are all the stall cycles okay now instruction 4 when it will execute instruction 4 will come here because still instruction 3 has not left the stage 1 here only it left the stage 1 so stage 1 is free at the 6th nanosecond then here it will come only three instructions i want to execute na okay let me finish it i don't want to inst instruct four instruction means i don't want to execute four instructions i want to execute only three instructions i want to execute so how much time it has taken 9 nanoseconds it has taken to execute three instructions using a four stage pipeline where e stage 2 is taking 2 nanoseconds stage 1 stage 3 and stage 4 is taking 1 nanoseconds each okay now what they are asking us to calculate efficiency so efficiency is equal to number of cycles utilized by total number of cycles so how many total number of cycles are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 4 is a 36 if you want you can calculate 9 clock cycles into 9 into 4 36 are there 
how many are utilized? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 are utilized. So, the efficiency is 15 by 36. So, the remaining all are the stall cycles. Okay, so I hope you have understood if the each stage is taking different nanoseconds or different cycles, then how can you calculate the efficiency and the time taken for pipeline execution for n number of instructions. If you still have any doubts related to this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.